What's up to our sidekicks and henchmen out there in the Geek Nation? This is a Patreon exclusive Thunder Round, a 60 second review where I go and I talk about a new book that's coming out today. It is Wednesday, it's new comic book day. Everyone should be going out there and getting their comic books from their local comic shop. And uh, today we'll be talking about Far Sector number one from Young Animal, Gerard Way's imprint within the DC universe. And this is a Green Lantern book, believe it or not. Uh, I'm a little confused as to how the Young Animal stuff ties into the DC universe as a whole. That's the DC, I can, this is what I'm, this is the DC universe right here and how it fits in to this. I have no idea. Um, Cause I know Doom Patrol is a Young Animal book. And I don't know if we've ever seen Doom Patrol in any of the other DC books. So it's a little confusing. I don't know if this is actually in continuity as a Green Lantern book. Uh, I don't know quite how it works, but I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna review it. Um, so I'm gonna put 60 seconds on the clock and I will talk about it in a second. Uh, first, I'll give you some deets. N.K. Jemison is the author who is a novelist. I'm not sure if this is her first comic book, but uh, there's an ad in the back for her Broken Earth Trilogy. Um, and that's her right there. What's up, lady? And um, Jamal Campbell is the artist of this book, who you may know if you've been reading Brian Michael Bendis's Naomi miniseries that came out earlier this year, introducing a brand new character into the DC universe. Uh, I like that a lot, and I'm interested to see where she's going. She's now, um, she's in the main continuity of DC. So she's hung out with Superman and Batman and the Justice League, and now she's, I believe, on the team with Young Justice. And um, I've, been, I've been reading her and enjoying her. So... Jamal Campbell's art is gorgeous. I love it, and I was very excited to check this out. I'm gonna put 60 seconds on the clock as soon as my watch works. Here we go. I touched it. Oh, oh, it's going. All right, so basically we've got a brand new Green Lantern. Her name is Sojourner, and she is on a new planet that we've never seen before, which has had 500 years of peace. Apparently there's been no murders because what they did is they discovered there's three races on this book, um, three races on this planet, and they can't get along. So somehow they decided, we're just going to get rid of emotion. That, that's bullshit. We don't need it. Emotion is dumb and it makes us fight and we, have, we keep having wars, so we're going to get rid of it. And then they've got 500 years of prosperity and everybody's getting along because they don't have any emotions. And um, now we have a murder. So it's a brand new Green Lantern on a brand new world that we've never seen before. And she's never had to deal with murder before, a murder investigation. So she's trying to figure out how to run one. And um, uh, that's kind of the basis of the story. But you're also dealing with meeting all of these different races, all of the politics behind this world. And also the mystery of why she's a Green Lantern. It doesn't seem like she's given up. Oh, there it goes. 60 seconds. Done. Um, so yeah, that's a mystery, but I'm, I, I love this issue. I think this is a really strong first issue. Um, you should definitely check it out if you're at all interested in it. Also, shout out to Brian Michael Bendis' Superman, because they're, he's getting ready to do something big in this book, and if you don't know what it is, you're not paying attention. Um, it looks like he's going to be getting rid of his secret identity. He's thinking about it. Th this issue is him basically talking to a couple of cats and being like, hey, uh... I might be making some decisions moving forward. Supergirl, I feel like this is going to affect you. Uh, what do you think about this? So, yeah, basically this is starting that. And it's got really nice art by McGuire, Kevin McGuire, who you would know from the Justice League International. I always like when he pops up. He doesn't have long-running stints on books anymore, but every so often he'll do a one-shot. Um, so it's, he's, he's the guy who, if you don't know who he is, does really great facial expressions, really ridiculous facial expressions. The coloring's a little off. Uh, I don't think the colorist is nailing the Kevin Maguire look in here, but um, I'm really enjoying Brian Michael Bendis' Superman stuff, which is rare because I don't like Superman all that much. Mm. Other quick shout outs. Watchmen, this show is great. Um, catching up on that, this show is astoundingly good. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it. And it's probably one of the better shows on television. Also DC, DC, no, Disney. Disney Plus dropped yesterday, and I got to watch the first episode of The Mandalorian. And that I watched it twice, because my wife hadn't seen it, so I got to sit down and watch it twice, and it is so good. So, yeah. Um, what else? I guess that's it. I hope you go to the comic shop today, support your local comic shop, um, and if you want to see... Oh, by the way, uh, every, every week... I'll make the last week's video, Thunder Round, 
I'll make it available for the public. So this is a Patreon exclusive for the week. And then after that, when I upload the new one, the past one is public in case you want to share them or whatever. I don't know. Um, I thought I'd make them public. Mm, I guess that's it. Thank you so much. And oh, and this, this was, by the way, this was a um, uh, request. Someone had requested I do this for the, for the Thunder Round. So here you go. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm a rambling mess. Have a great day and I will talk at you later.